This plugin for Premiere Pro uses AI to do pretty much every editing task imaginable in a few simple clicks. From auto removing silences, auto adding captions, auto deleting repeated dialogue and profanity, to auto adding B-roll and pretty much every other task that my job depends on. Just kidding. Sort of. Introducing AutoCut, an affordable plugin for Premiere Pro set to revolutionize the way we edit videos by streamlining the mundane tasks currently required to create engaging videos. Now, make sure to stick around to the end of this video as I have a 20% discount code for you, but it only appears if you watch the entire video. Liar! Phil. So let's hop right into Premiere Pro and see what all the fuss is about. So because there are so many features available for AutoCut, I'm going to be specifically focusing on the AutoCut podcast feature, as well as the auto caption features in today's video. But let me know in the comments if you want another video breaking down AutoCut's additional features. To access the plugin, head up to the Windows tab and under extensions, we can select AutoCut. This will open up our plugin homepage where we can see a list of all the features. Now, the first feature we wanna to touch on is the AutoCut podcast feature. So we'll just click that. This feature requires we have at least two pieces of footage on two separate tracks. So I have a super simple two camera setup, each with their own individual audio. Camera A is gonna be on video and audio track one, while camera B is gonna be on video and audio track two. Now, now select them both, right click and select synchronize. Just make sure audio is selected here and hit okay. This is gonna ensure that both cameras are synced together timing wise. Now back in the auto cut menu, we'll need to label our speakers based on what audio track they're on. So for audio track one, I'll label it as Justin because Justin's camera is attached to the audio on audio track one. And additionally, I'll label audio track two as Monse. If we have any additional speakers or maybe a wide angle third camera showing both speakers, we can simply add it by selecting add speaker. Now under cameras, we're going to do the same and select which speaker is on which video track. If you're not sure, it helps to label each video as the respective speaker, and then just reference your timeline to see which video and audio track it's on. Then we can scroll down and choose between calm, paced, energetic, or hyperactive camera duration settings. This is essentially going to dictate the pacing of your podcast edit and how long it holds on each talker before switching to another camera angle. And finally, we can choose to either remove or mute silences. Removing is going to cut out unwanted silence sections and mute is simply going to mute them as to not affect the overall duration of the edit by cutting and removing silent sections. Once we're happy with our settings, just hit edit and disable unused clips and then let AutoCut work its magic. Almost instantly, we have a chopped up podcast edit ready to be posted in literal minutes. Now let's take a look at the auto captions features as well. So once we wrap up our auto podcast cut, we will be prompted with this box to go directly to auto captions. So we can click that or access auto captions in our original homepage menu. From there, we can either manually choose our font style, size and color for our captions or choose one from the popular presets here. For reference, we can see an auto updated version of our captions in this preview box. And once we're happy, we'll just hit next step. Next, we just have to select our clips we want captioned and make sure our input language is set. For obvious reasons, I'll choose English for this example before hitting process. Here we can clean up any transcription errors that may be needed as well as we can tweak them later from the Premiere Pro timeline. One of my favorite features with auto captions is the ability to auto generate either static or animated emojis to go along with our captions to drive even more engagement. Just simply click generate emojis and choose between animated or static. Now, as is with most AI tools, it isn't 100% accurate, but it's honestly pretty solid and we can easily make any adjustments we see fit. Now we can hit add captions and let AutoCut take care of the rest. You'll see it adds a caption nest on top of our timeline, which we can double click to open and update our captions if needed. Finally, if we need to reposition the caption layer as a whole, we can simply select it in our main timeline and reposition it using our motion parameters like so. So as mentioned, these two features are just two of many AI features currently offered by AutoCut, but some of the other notable features are auto zooms, which can automatically punch in and out of your edits to drive even more engagement, auto B-roll, which will automatically find relevant B-roll and add it to your edit, and even an auto cut repeat feature, which uses AI to remove bad takes from your raw footage. Now I'll have to touch on those in another video. So if there is a specific one you want a breakdown on, please let me know in the comments. I'm definitely gonna be checking that out. Now, as promised, the reason you're here, head to the description of this video and you'll find a link for auto cut. And if you use code Justin at checkout, you can get 20% off your purchase. Now, with that being said, if you learned something new today, please consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.